Facebook Live, it's been a couple days. Hope you all are having a great day. As you can see, I'm back. I'm at home, hustle shirt on, Servia hat wearing. You got Servia on my mic. Listen, it has been an amazing, amazing weekend. I've been with my, my family, my family in Dallas, Texas at the Texan. We had a great time, worked with my team, spent two evenings with different sections of the team. We had, you know, some group get togethers. We hung out for breakfast, got, got to spend some time bonding. You know, um, I would had the blessing of being able to speak from stage to close out our event. It, it was just such a, such an incredible weekend. But let's talk about leadership. The, the whole word leadership means that you're, you're ahead of some people, like you're, you're actually leading, you're actually giving guidance, you're actually steering the direction of groups of people. Oh, Dale Calvert. Listen, that guy just won't leave me alone. <laughs> He's going to watch this and be like, son of a gun. Dale Calvert is one of the greatest leaders I personally have ever met in my life. One of the easily the most hands down finest people I have ever ever been able to know and I, I i'm blessed every day that he is part of my life and he is a, a shiny example of a leader he is actually doing things to make his team better he is running just just weekly status reports making sure people are doing what they need to do to win at the level they got to get to but i look at people claiming to be leaders but they ain't got anybody to lead. They don't have teams of people. They don't have people that are giving them, you know, kudos or raising them up or lifting them up. There's no, there's no guy. There's people in the, in the industry who have, who are supposed to be network marketing leaders, but they're not bringing teams with them. They're not putting people in place to get them to, to new levels. They're not seeing growth. And I'm not pointing out anybody at all. There's no point to. But this, the point of this conversation is literally to get you, the viewer right now, the viewer that's watching this now or on the replay, are you going to be a leader? Are you going to create teams of people, of hundreds, of thousands, of tens of thousands of people who will follow you? and get and listen to you and take advice and take guidance and just run because you put in the work you put in the effort you put in the time for your team because there's people who are all about me all about look what i did look what my situation is look what it blah 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 I am excited for my team. I'm excited. I, heck, I'm running a contest in my team right now for the first person to hit leader in our in our team is going to get all the volume I have in my holding tank. Maybe your leader might do something like that. I don't know, but you should probably ask. I'm trying to get my team to grow. I want my business to be booming. I want my leaders that are, that are coming after me to never worry about money. I want my leaders who are coming after me to never worry about their family. I want my leaders to be creating leaders under them. Business, this business is about networking. And if you're not networking with people who want to keep growing with you, your business is going to die. Your business, your money, your relationships, it's all going to die. It's going to just crumble and fade away. and Nobody's ever going to know who you, are, who you are. This company is doing some great stuff. And there's lots of companies that are doing some great stuff. But for you out there right now, and you're trying to think about becoming a leader, be prepared. Be prepared to put up with sometimes nonsense sometimes people not listening to you sometimes people doing their own thing and you just have to let them be you have to let them go do what they're going to do until they realize that hey 
why recreate the wheel? Let's just model the success that they were having so we can get there ourselves. Because that's the key to success is just modeling what somebody else has already done so that you can just go ahead and have the success that they have. If I tell you to go create videos, go create videos. If I And it doesn't make, mean that you're going to be good the moment I tell you to do it. If I tell you to go message people instead of posting on your timeline, go message people. But I'm still watching people post on their timeline as if I'm your target audience because I'm seeing your posts. Stop wasting your time. If you want to build your business and lead, it takes real effort, real networking, and real time. If you cannot do those things because you're too scared or too chicken or too, you ain't grown a backbone yet, it might not be the right time for you yet. It might be time for you to do personal development. It might be time for you to get a book like Think and Grow Rich or Rich Dad Poor Dad or Go Pro or anything in the Dale Calvert line, anything in that line. It might be time for you to be listening to audios every single day, getting yourself up to becoming a leader because your money situation is literally dictated by the number of leaders you develop on your team. Because if you're not developing leaders, there ain't going to be no long-term money. If you're not de developing people who are going to build through you without you even being there, there ain't no hope in you getting money. No hope. Zero. Not even a little bit. If you're not developing leaders across your teams in whatever format your compensation plan is, if you're not developing teams upon teams upon teams upon teams upon teams, you're, you're not going to win. You can't win. It's impossible to win. You have to become the leader. You have to step outside of your comfort zone entirely. You cannot chase the shadow of me, of people above me, of people in other groups or in other companies. You cannot stay in those communities and expect to lead. You have to rise above and take leadership of your people. Step up, rise up, and just take charge of your team. That's what you have to do. I'm not, I wasn't great at any of this a year ago. I wasn't making these videos like this a year ago. I was literally still messing up big time. I was just blasting everything. I was planting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of seeds. This is the time for you to decide, am I going to be a leader? What do I need to do to lead? Who do I need to build to become a leader? Because if you cannot claim to be a leader if you don't have people to lead. You cannot claim to be over anyone if there's no one under you, it's impossible. You cannot do it. It's, it's imp I could not say that I'm a leader if I didn't have people who are not followers. But I don't want my followers to stay followers. I want my leader, I want my followers to rise up to become leaders. I want them to take charge. I don't want them to just come in and ask me, hey, can you do this for me? I want them to show me, look what we did for our people. Look what we did for our teams. Look what we did. Look what our team did. Look what our team is doing. Look where we're going. I can't believe my team members have become leaders as well. That's succession. That's amazing when you have people rise up and take over so that you, you don't have to. So that if I disappeared or I died or I, you know, the resurrection happened and y'all stayed here and I was gone. I'm just saying because I'm the only person going apparently. Uh, that's hilarious. Jen's over here shaking her head. Um, if I was gone, 
my leaders would still be leading. They would still be building something for them, not for me. I've never once asked my leaders or my team members to do anything. I want them to step up to run their own business, take ownership of their own distribution lines, take ownership of their own teams, because I, it's not my business. Your business is your business. Your teams are your teams. Your team members, you got to figure this out, guys. You have to. If you've been in this industry for longer than five years, three years, longer than a year, and you haven't stepped up to lead, it might be time. It might be time for you to realize that it is a system. The system is simple. You start off on the on the conveyor belt at the store. You're actually just shoving, shoving product, shoving product, shoving product, shoving product. And then one day somebody notices that you're shoving product and asks you to become shift manager. And then you have to train people to shove product because now you're the shift manager. So you put those people in place and you're shoving, helping them shove product and you're filling in on the line when, when you need to and helping them and helping them and helping them. And then one day somebody goes, well, we're going to go ahead and put you as regional manager and we're going to step you up to regional manager. And now you're actually getting people from the line trained to be the, the manager of the shift, the shift manager. This is a simple system. Walmart does this system. Everybody does this system. But for some reason, network marketers don't. Network marketers don't treat their business like a business. They get, they get signed up and think that they're just going to magically make, make money. They think that it's just going to magically happen. They don't treat it like it's a job. Levi just popped in out of nowhere. His head came out of the corner of the screen. Get out of here, boy. Get, get out. He's in the corner of the screen. That's hilarious. So, guys, I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm a little fired up about this, but I'm watching. I'm watching and I want you to be on stage talking. I'm watching people who've been in the industry too long, not stepping up, not taking responsibility for their time, not doing what they need to do because of whatever reason, whatever excuse. It's your time to win. It is absolutely your time to win. And you're the only one that can control it. No one else can. Nobody can force you to build your business. But if you don't want to lead, just be a customer. I, I'm being really serious. If you don't want to lead, stay a customer. Because being in business is about going from one phase to another phase to the next phase to the next phase to the next phase. And you can do it. I know you can. Because if a hillbilly like me can do this, with no degrees, no specialized training, no, no anything but time and effort, massive, massive effort. If I can do this, you can do it. You can do it every day of the week, but all you gotta do is figure it out. You have to literally figure it out. So guys, I just wanna come on here and have a, a fun, I know you guys ain't having fun, but I'm having a blast. Th this is what I love to do help you understand that you have to start taking action in your lives to get to where you want to get to. All right, guys, I'm Curry Russell, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Bye.